Hello, you, sir. Are you tired of feeling so safe all the time? No. Are you a morbidly curious person that occasionally wonders what high voltage feels like? No. Who are you? Why, why did you ask me that? Where are you? Then break open one of your old TVs and take the flyback transformer out of it. For the super low price of only zero dollars, it's super safe. So the other day I went on Craigslist and I tried to find one of those old prehistoric TVs and I got one and it was 400 pounds and I tried breaking it open and look at my freaking hand. I need stitches, probably. It's too late. But I got it open and I salvaged one of these bad boys. This is a flyback transformer. I think it has a low turn ratio. I'll explain that later. But it means you need a high frequency input, which is what these are for. I got a four pack of 23 watt fluorescent bulbs. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can combine these things to produce an output of over 30,000 volts. No, not over. I think just about, like maybe up to 30,000. Hopefully up to 30,000. So here's the first thing we're gonna do. I need to measure the resistance between each one of these pins. And the two pins that read one ohm between them is gonna be our pin. 1.1. So these are our input pins. It doesn't matter which one goes where because it's an AC power source. So the output of the bulbs CFL circuit is going to go into the input of this transformer. These bulbs contain mercury, so if you break a bulb, don't breathe the fumes. and snip these little metal spools right here so you can take the CFL circuit from the bulb because all we want is the circuit. Sick. So there are these pins connected to a capacitor right here. You can trace the pins back from the capacitor and it is not going to be those pins. Usually the four pins that aren't the mains will be numbered one through four and you're gonna choose one and four to be your output to the flyback. Our output pins are gonna be these two right here. If you're wondering what the circuit does, on the input where the AC 120 volt comes in, first it filters it for noise, and then it rectifies that AC input to DC, and then it sends that DC voltage through a half bridge to send it back to AC, but this time at a really high voltage. That output goes to our transformer. And as we said earlier, these two pins go right to the flyback. The input of the flyback. Hi, uh, Jay from the future here. Let's just say it's been a rough past couple days. So the first EFL board I used a couple days ago was the good one. I think that was the 20 watt bulb. Here's the footage from that. And just a heads up, I'm sorry for the quality. I took that with my iPhone. And then somehow I blew the circuit out. I think I shorted some wires. And then I got the four pack of 23 watt bulbs, which none of them worked. I'm pretty sure they're protected somehow. Like I think these are the newer bulbs that shut off if it doesn't sense the bulb. I tried getting around that with a capacitor, but I've tried so many iterations and none of it, none of it worked. So the only CFL circuit I had left was this. It was like a 16 watt, but here's the footage from that. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't as good as the bulb that I used a couple days ago. I think it was like a centimeter or two, 
And the bigger the CFL circuit, the bigger the output. So guys, that is it for this video. And guys, please remember to be careful. Here's some footage of me shocking the shit out of myself. Ow, ow, ow. Why did that happen? And I was wearing gloves. I was literally wearing gloves. Actually, I'm pretty sure these are like electro-positive. Don't wear electro-positive gloves. Use leather.